what is up YouTube the topic for today's video is gonna be building your first machine learning app uh, this was primarily focused on building a machine learning app uh, from scratch using uh, a Python library called Streamlit which I already covered in one of my previous video and plus PyTorch so uh, one of the object detection model of PyTorch plus Streamlit and um, just before we move on, I uh, wanted to mention that if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the like uh, for this video. It kind of helps me promote this further. So the kind of technologies I al already mentioned is like Streamlit would be the core of your uh, uh, this project. Basically, it kind of builds a web app using basic uh, Python scripts. And then the deployment of the model, which would be actually based on PyTorch, and it's like an object detection model. Uh, an object detection model pre-built by Facebook research already and it's already out there. So it's it's called Detectron 2 So we're going to use both of those and combine them together and try to build an app where you kind of Upload an image and kind of get an object detection uh, uh, On top of it. So using a machine learning model a couple of things before I move on to the tutorial I went, wanted to mention if uh, anyone who hasn't kind of made any data app or machine learning app before uh, definitely use this video as your base reference because it's gonna get you get the basics right uh, in terms of if you're trying to deploy your first model uh, definitely the right place to be and the second part would be if you are fairly new to this library called streamlet do check out my previous video I will link it uh, in the description moving to the actual tutorial uh, in this I'm kind of covering three three main technologies here one would be a, a, pip, a Python library called streamlit which helps you build web apps using Python code web apps would be like data uh, Driven or machine learning apps uh, very simple and then two other technologies which I'm using here is PyTorch PyTorch is like a machine learning framework built by Facebook quite extensive we would not get into like a lot of details here, but we would kind of use a model which Facebook research has built called Detectron 2. So we're using this open source uh, uh, model already built by them. This is actually based on PyTorch. So if you will go down to this uh, link, I'm going to add it in the description. So Detectron 2 is like a, 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 a Facebook AI's model state of the art object detection model, model in particular. It's got a, a lot of variation within it, but we're going to use this model. And uh, as you can see in the GIF, uh, it kind of shows the way it's doing. So it's it, it, it's trying to detect what's there in the specific image. So this is a pre-built model we're going to try to deploy on Streamlit. So that's the idea. Uh, I hope it kind of helps you out uh, in terms of uh, building your first machine learning app. Moving on to the actual code walkthrough. Uh, I kind of prepared this in advance. So I just want to go through the highlights of what I did. So um, as you can see, I built a simple Streamlit app. Uh, in this I define like streamlit and just defining a title kind of makes an app and when you run the command streamlit run and the Python file it makes the app itself directly so very simple to prototype and the 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 main part of this is is just a few lines of code uh, in, in in this code I'm, I'm using a, a detector on two model as I mentioned so you would need to import the actual model in this case I, I wanted to show uh, the model using uh, like detecting different things which would be like uh, animals or humans and, and, and something like that so I use a pre-existing model called model zoo okay and then I, I use a default engine the default predicted engine and and, and uh, imported a few other things like uh, the configuration which kind of gives gets me the default configuration and the last two import is basically uh, getting the detectron to vis visualize it basically if you see here uh, the the colors and the graphics on top of the existing image is kind of being uh, done from the visualizer itself. So basically, Detectron 2 contains all of this uh, together as a package. So that's what we're going to try to use. So the way I do it for now, it's very simple, uh, but I can extend this functionality where people can just upload image and get, get a result out of it. So right now, what, the way I'm doing it, I'm, I'm reading a default uh, info, and this is like the OpenCV2 library. So I'm using a CV2 library to read the image. So right now I have an image uh, from the assets folder. So this is the, the, the regular image. I'm gonna read this image and kind of uh, apply the inference of uh, the Python uh, Detectron 2 model. I use the default predict predictor to run the inference. 
So the first thing I have to do is get the config. So right now I like uh, I get the default config from the function uh, uh, from detector onto itself. And uh, the one thing I have to do uh, because uh, I'm thinking to use this uh, on Streamlit. When I use this on Streamlit, I would definitely need to run it. Uh, the device would be CPU because uh, the right now the inference would definitely work on CPU when I'm going to deploy or even I use in local development. That's where I need the CPU. And uh, after that, uh, the next a few steps are basically importing uh, the the model. So this is the model I'm getting, and uh, from the configuration, I'm just installing the model. So this would take when you run it for the first time, it's just going to um, import and install uh, the model files. So I'm using the Cocoa instance segmentation and the mask uh, RCN and model on top of it, and I kind of define a default threshold, which is like 0.5 for now. But you can change it uh, uh, as per your requirement. And then the, the next thing is you uh, when you get the model in place, you are defining uh, the weights. So in, in this model, you kind of define the predefined weights. So we are not building the model in this case, we're just importing model and using the existing weights of an existing model. So once I have the default uh, configuration of the projector, I can directly use the model and uh, run the inference. So the way I'm doing it, I, I get a predictor from the default predictor after passing the config configuration, all of is defined apart from these like few steps where I just add a few things where I kind of define the weights from an exist pre-existing model. And after that, it's very easy. Just use that predictor to run inference. So that's very simply how we're doing it. Uh, not very effective way right now, not very efficient because not we are not using GPUs. But uh, for prototyping, it makes sense to just to use CPU. It would be slow, but uh, uh, for our use case, it's quite fast enough, right? We're just using, of using a few images and uh, inferencing on a few images. So basically what this does, uh, this gives us output in a particular format. And in those outputs, we, we get the coordinates uh, accordingly. So we get uh, the coordinates of the classes, we get the coordinates of the, the boxes itself. So you can just use those coordinates uh, uh, to visualize it using a, a Detectron 2 visualizer. So that's what I've done it here. Uh, once I get the result, I just use a visualization to draw those uh, outputs on top of those images and I get a final out and I use those that out to uh, show the image using a uh, streamlit image function. It just shows the image. I hope it's quite clear. So let me try to show you how the app looks like. Uh, starting with the basic def de definition and a basic Jiffy from uh, the GitHub repo. But the way I did it, I'm showing a test image which I imported. And uh, once I run the inference on top of it, uh, right now there's like no image being uploaded, but it's just running the inference on the default image. And so from that, it kind of pulls out uh, uh, those outputs of where it's detecting what. So it has a label uh, coordinates and actually also the, uh, the coordinates of uh, the boxes itself. So I can use the visualizer to, uh, to, to show those uh, coordinates uh, on top of it. So you, as you can see, it easily is able to recognize who is a person, horse, uh, and whatever. So this kind of shows like uh, how already uh, like, uh, you can use pre-built models for your use cases. In a lot of, in a lot of the times, it, they are kind of very helpful because uh, they are already being built uh, using vast data set from these research companies. As you can already see, like uh, I've just like used a few lines of code, I've done a few patchwork uh, and using uh, the inference of the model, uh, inference of the detection model, and just uh, use that to create a very simple prototype of like creating your first machine learning app. Um, for me, it's pretty interesting, I would say, because um, uh, very get to very easy to hop on and try prototyping and using models or even create your own models and trying to deploy so that uh, you can showcase what you have built. So that's the best part of it. So I hope you kind of liked it. Uh, and I think that's it in terms of the tutorial. I um, wanted to mention a few more things. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe and the like button if you felt value out of this video. Um, I'm going to add one more uh, uh, video to this streamlit plot 
where I'm going to show uh, how easy it is to deploy a Streamlit app using Streamlit sharing. A few clicks and you, you can easily deploy. This is right now in a beta phase. I was able to get an access. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to quickly briefly show you uh, on how to deploy your first machine learning app uh, through Streamlit sharing and you can just share a URL for people to use. I think that's about it uh, in terms of this video. I want to keep things very short from now on. Uh, so it's mostly like briefing things on what I've built already. Uh, as you already know, the next topic of my video. So do like and subscribe to my channel if you want similar content. Uh, and thanks a lot.